Hello my dear viewers and welcome back. Today we have something a little bit different today. We're going to be reviewing the new Mountain Dew flavor, Frostbite. Now, I'm a huge Mountain Dew fan. I've been drinking this stuff since I was a little girl. I love it. And recently, I was able to get my hands on the new Mountain Dew flavor. So, we are going to review it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on it. And if this video gets enough likes and views and you guys enjoy it enough, I would love to review the other flavors. So, let's get started. So, Mountain Dew Frostbite is the brand new flavor that came out. And I did a little bit of research, and apparently it's trying to go for a cool melon flavor. Which actually got me excited because I really love melon, especially watermelon flavored stuff. And I remember I was disappointed when... Mountain Dew, I could be wrong, but I believe it was called Supernova, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, was a combination of watermelon and berry flavors, and I really liked it, but sadly, it lost the popularity contest to Pitch Black when it first came out, because what we really need is more grape soda, right, friends? But anyway, so I was initially very excited, so I gave it a try, so... What I can say about the flavor is it is very strong, like, this is a very strong soda, which is not a word I expected to associate with soda, but the best way I could describe it is this. The first couple of gulps tasted like a combination of perfume and Windex. Like, it was really, really strong. Like, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Like, you know that feeling if you take a shot of, like, really strong alcohol and you do that ah kind of thing? Like, I don't know how to describe it. If you drink a lot of alcohol, you guys might know what I'm talking about. Or, like, when you, uh, wash your mouth out with a mouthwash, that kind of feeling. That's what it tastes like. Like, this is certainly not a soda you can get into because it takes at least a few gulps to actually get to the flavor. It has this very strong chemical-like taste to it, and I'm not certain if that was intended or not, but it's very, very powerful and very, very strong. And if you find that taste off-putting, then you'll probably throw this away after the first gulp. I know I almost did, but I decided, let me take a few more gulps, and then I finally got to what it tastes like. And when I finally did get to the flavor, well, what does it taste like? Well, if you've ever had any of those uh, Japanese sodas, like if you've ever been to an anime convention or you've been to Japan, you've probably seen that they have those Japanese sodas where you pop the uh, ball into it. It does taste like that. Like when you actually do get to the melon flavor, it does taste like melon from one of those Japanese sodas. The only problem with that is the melon flavor is not very strong. Like, it's pretty weak compared to the overpowering chemical taste. Now, after enough gulps, you'll slowly adjust to it, and it will taste exactly like one of those Japanese sodas. So if you really like those Japanese sodas, you would probably really like this. But for me, at least, it really was not really all that tasty for me which really disappointed me because I was expecting a little bit more because it's just such a weird sensation to taste something that tastes like straight up Windex because that's what it tasted like at first. And even when you do finally get to that melon flavor, it's just not very strong. Like you only get a little bit of it. But another thing I can say about this is this soda does certainly taste cool. Like they definitely got the... Uh, cool chill thing down because this is one of the coldest sodas I have ever tasted like you it feels like like when you take a sip of the soda it feels like this thing just came out of like a freezer or something but even if you just put it in the refrigerator for a little bit it still tastes and feels like that so I guess if you live in a hot area like I do and sometimes the heat gets bad enough then this would certainly be something you're looking for if you're looking for something really, really cool and chill to kind of quench that need to feel cooled down 
this will certainly do that, but depending on how you feel about the flavor, that may be a slight problem. But then again, I understand that some taste is acquired. Now, I'm not going to act like I'm the be-all, end-all expert on Mountain Dew. Now, for all I know, other people may like this, and it may just be me. I admit, I could possibly have weird taste for all I know, but that's what it kind of tastes like to me, a combination of perfume and Windex, and I'm not certain, like, why that is. Like, I don't know if it's maybe because they went a little bit too overboard with, like, the chemicals or something. I don't get it. Like, am I missing something here? But one thing I will get I do like is, this may seem like a tiny thing, but I like the design of the soda. Now, at least with the bottle I'm holding, it has a really cool, like, logo. Like, you have a shark breaking out of ice. And I like the name Frostbite. That is a pretty cool and fitting name. And I love the color because, as you know, I'm a very big fan of dark colors. I find them very beautiful and attractive. I wear a lot of dark colors, and I do love this sort of dark blue. It reminds me a lot of Mountain Dew Voltage, which is possibly front runner for the greatest flavor Mountain Dew of all time, but I'll get to that another, another time. So it does kind of remind me of Voltage, which I really, really love. It's one of my all-time favorite flavors. But what does all that matter if it doesn't taste good? I guess that would be my thing. It doesn't really taste all that good. At least for me. I mean, it could just be me for all I know. I don't know. But I guess my final thoughts on this is I would give it a 2 out of 10. And I know that may seem pretty harsh. And believe me, I didn't go in wanting to hate this. I wanted to love it because I do love... Mountain Dew, and I was really excited when I read that it was a melon flavor. That got me really excited, but the over overpowering chemical taste is just a huge turnoff for me, and I can accept that it might be an acquired taste thing, but maybe that's just me. But what did you all think? Did you like this soda? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if this video does well and gets enough views and likes, then I will gladly review the other flavors. And if there's something you want me to review, please let me know, and I'll see you guys around next time.